Hey, good morning. This is Brenda Meller with Meller Marketing. It is a new month, and that means that you've been issued some invitation credits by LinkedIn. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to use those credits and then what to do next. So what I'm going to do to start is go to my company page on LinkedIn. You'll see on screen here that I'm actually on my company page right now for Meller Marketing. And it is currently October 4th. I've already done the first few steps in the process and a couple of the invitations have been accepted. So let me walk you through what happens next. You're going to notice when you're on your company page, if you are in an admin, as an admin, you should see super admin view or admin view at the top. And along the right hand side, you should see invite connections to follow. And LinkedIn will show you how many credits you have remaining. So I have two out of 100 credits remaining. Now, three days ago, I had 100 credits, but I've already issued them. So the way that this works is you're able to, as an admin, invite people to follow your company page on LinkedIn. Now, if I've already invited the person, I'm not going to be able to invite them again. And every admin has access to the invitation credits. I would recommend that you split out the credits amongst everyone who's an admin and each take a turn and in inviting connections. Sometimes it may be hard to come up with 100 people, but if you have four salespeople, each of them invite 25 and that's a pretty easy way to grow your page followers. Now, anybody who follows your company page on LinkedIn is essentially raising their hand that yes, they'd like to learn more information about your company. And I love these hand raisers because there might be leads, there might be prospects, there might be potential future employees in that group as well. So here's what I'd like you to do. Go to the section underneath where it says invite connections to follow and click on where it says invite more connections. When you do so, you're going to get a menu that pops up in here and you can see that you can simply click on the box next to the person's name and then click on the blue invite button. Or if you wish, you can start to apply some filters into here. You can use a location drop down if there's specific geographic locations you target, specific companies that you're looking to target, a school maybe that you both attended. Uh, a similar alma mater, a college or university. You can also select certain types of industries. So I'm paying close attention to this because I'm curious if LinkedIn will add additional filters in the future, but these are the filters that we have right now. Now, my advice for you is rather than just scrolling through this list, it's a little bit time consuming to do so, I would recommend that you focus on inviting people that know you and maybe are, are interested in learning more about your company. So you could simply do that by scrolling through the list or even better yet, maybe use some of these filters. And here, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on a location filter. I'm gonna put Detroit metropolitan area, click on apply. It's gonna resort those connections that are in here. And you'll see anybody who says invited, like Gina next to here, I've already issued an invitation to follow my page. Now it doesn't show me whether or not Gina has accepted it, but I do know that I can't issue her another credit. So either myself or someone else as an admin from the Mellon Marketing page has already invited her to follow. What I'm gonna do is scroll through the list and if I see people that I know well, that I think would have a high likelihood of accepting that invitation to follow my page, I'm going to click on the checkbox next to them. Now let's say I wanted to add maybe an additional filter in here. I can actually do multiple filters. So maybe I put on Central Michigan University where I uh, obtain my bachelor's degree, there might be some additional people in this list that I know would be likely to accept a page follow request. Jasmine's one of those individuals. So you can see here right now, this is one credit that I'm going to be using. I'm going to send an invitation to follow to Jasmine. And once I click on invite, LinkedIn's going to give me a message. It's going to say, hey, do you want to increase your acceptance rates by posting? Well, I'm already posting on a regular basis, so I'm just going to click on it. No thanks, or you can just exit out of that box. Okay. Now you'll see invite connections to follow. It's showing that I only have one out of 100 credits remaining. I always like to leave one so that I can demonstrate to clients how to use it. So I'm not going to issue all 100. For you and your company, I would highly recommend that you use all 100 credits. That's the first step in the process. Now let me walk you through what to do next. So what we're going to do is click on the analytics drop down in your company page and I want you to go and click on followers. Okay. Now underneath the graph at the top, you're actually going to be able to see who the followers are. And this is sorted in order by most recently followed the page to oldest. Okay. And as we look next to the name, you're going to see whether they are already directly connected to you, the person who's looking at the page. Okay. 
Now I can see Alexei, I am not yet connected to that person. That's a second level. Lisa Stroth is a first level connection, okay? Um, so there's things that I can do with each of these. For second and third level, I may wish to reach out to those people and invite them to connect with me, Brenda Meller personally, I'm not going to say, hey, Alex, I saw that you're following my company page on LinkedIn because that's a little creepy and stalkerish. Instead, I might say, hi, Alex, we haven't met, but I see that we share common connections. We're both located in Metro Detroit. Let's connect on LinkedIn. OK, so there's one thing to do with people I'm not yet connected with. With other individuals, let's say, for example, Lisa and uh, Lisa is a first level connection. Let's say that I issued an invitation credit to her and she has accepted that invitation credit there may be an opportunity to do some additional follow-up with Lisa. I can click to go to her profile, maybe message her, ask her if she might be open to an introductory call where we can learn more about each other and each other's business, or kind of see where, um, where there might be some additional opportunities for conversation there. I do love the fact that LinkedIn gives us the ability to see who is following the page because now we can see those people who are raising their hand. And anyone who is an admin can see these individuals, so it's a great feature to use. One other thing I wanted to point out, this is just a trend line. Do be careful about how you're using this. This is new followers. If you look at the left axis there, it says new followers. This isn't total page followers. I almost feel it's a little bit um, deceptive. I feel like it should be a bar graph showing new followers gained over time. You'll see that I had a spike in follower activity on Friday, October 1st, which was the first business day of the month. That's when I issued the invitation credits. So this is how I recommend you use this feature to invite people to follow your company page on LinkedIn. And this is a great way to grow new leads and um, opportunities for your business. This is Brenda Meller. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment below. Thank you.